Hey guys, I'm LT from Blind Horse Knives, and today I'm here with Brad Stallsmith from Peter's Heat Treat. Hey Brad. How you doing? Good to see you, brother. Always good to have you around. Brad, we've heard the term cryogenic freezing. Um, how does that relate to you as a heat treater, also for us as the end user of the knife? What benefits do we get from something like that? Um, in the cryogenic process, let me go into a little bit about exactly what it is and what, what it involves. Um, the cryogenic process was discovered um, years ago, but really just applied to industry over the last uh, 10 to 20 years. So it's not really a new process, but people are still discovering um, what, it's, what, it's, um, what it's all about and what benefits they can get from it. Um, uh, cryogenics uh, involves uh, cooling during the heat, heating and treating process, cooling to um, a sub-zero um, temperature. In the case of um, what we use as liquid nitrogen, we go to negative 300 degrees. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a heat treat is really all about time and temperature. Uh, so to get, to get the proper heat treat, you're heating, you're holding at that heat, you're quenching quickly, and then you're um, subsequently giving a couple, usually a couple more lower temperature, tempers what we call those, to take a little bit of that um, uh, hardness off the top, the brittleness off the top, and add a little bit of strength. The cryogenic process, and, and, and let me take a step back, that whole, that whole time and temperature process, um, it, there's transformation that takes place during that heating and during those cooling cycles. So the, the more, um, the wider the range that you can get from your high heat to your low heat, the more grain transformation you're going to get. That extra grain transformation that you get from adding a cryo treatment um, tightens up the grain um, adding strength, corrosion resistance, and wearability. If you've got a nice tight grain, um, then, then that's what you're going to get from that. Uh, the cryogenic process is, in, is um, incorporated right into the middle of the traditional heat treating process. Um, as you quench from your high heat down to room temperature, then at that point you go straight into the cryo treatment and you're adding several hundred more degrees of transformation that you normally would not have if your knife never made it below room temperature. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that extra transformation, 400 degrees from say 100 degrees at room temperature all the way down to negative 300 adds 400 degrees of transformation. And it enhances, a cryogenic treatment actually enhances every good thing about that piece of steel. It's going to mm -hmm. add corrosion resistance because that grain is tighter. So you can imagine the surface is tighter together. You're, you're going to have a less chance of, of getting any contaminants in there to cause corrosion. Along with that tight grain, you're going to have that nice edge holdability that you get. And also, the tight grain adds strength. So you're going to have, it, it, like I said, it, it enhances all the good qualities um, about a piece of steel. Um, and, and again, is used widely mm -hmm. throughout the world in all sorts of applications, but it really um, has, has come into its own as far as the knife industry goes. Um, we have seen, we've done some testing and we have seen increases in uh, wearability, um, in tooling and in knives in particular that um, you know add 200, 300 percent to the life of that tool just from the cryogenic treatment. It, it sounds like something you have to do. Uh, I mean it, if it's available to you and, and again it, you guys it, offer the service as yeah. a knife maker, you almost got to say yeah. to yourself, why not just um, go ahead and do it? Our pricing across the board, um, me being a bit of a knife enthusiast and knowing what cryogenic brings to the plate, um, we just automatically add it into our processing. You actually have to ask us not to freeze your knife, wow. um, which almost never happens. Right. So yes, it's available, it's there, and it, it adds uh, tremendous uh, qualities to just about any steel. Fantastic.